times if you wanted timeouts. How, how do you see that maybe affecting one way or the other? Um, I mean, yeah, we're going to get tired. Um, but it's something we go through in practice every day. Uh, guys have fallen, gone, gone down and, uh, during practice, and guys have had, uh, haven't had subs. So um, it's, it's not, it's not going to be a shock. I mean, I went through all last year without a sub. So um, if I can make it a couple games or one game, whatever it's going to be. Um, I know Justin is going to be just fine. Marcus has been playing great, been good with the minutes. Um, so I think we'll be we'll be fine if we can just play smart. Um, and you know, foul trouble is going to be a, a huge thing for us. So like I said, playing smart in the defensive and offensive end, and uh, just being aware. Out of curiosity, would, would anybody really ask for a timeout? Like, would there be like a little ego involved? Like, nah, there, we're not. There, there, there is a little bit, um, but I mean. With this, with this year's team, I feel like everybody has trust in, in one another. That if you know you do get tired, you don't you don't necessarily want to hurt the team. Um, so you do ask for you know kind of a, a timeout, and I think coach kind of respects that. So even if you know even if he sees you kind of getting tired, but you do give him the tired signal, uh, coach, I need to come out for a second. Um, he respects that, and you know I think you. Well, I know from my end that I know I'm gonna go back into the game at some point. Uh, with Theo going down, I mean, we're, like I said, we have to uh, you know play smarter. Um, and might not look to the sideline for for a breather as much as you would in another game. What's practice been like? Just you know, not having the bodies and right. you know, limited numbers, that kind of thing. Um, of a little lighter, a little lighter, uh, a lot more shooting, um, a lot, you know, a lot more uh, just dummy offense stuff going through. You know, our defenses going through. Uh, our plays and stuff like that. Not, not too much uh, full contact. Um, so today will be interesting to see how it goes. <laughs> Justin's been a lot more aggressive the last two games, and there have been results to, to that effort. Um, how much different and better are you when he's playing that way and he's able to create some scoring opportunities for himself? It, it, it opens up for everybody. It opens everything up for everybody. Um, when Justin's knocking down you know, his little you know, floater, his uh, one dribble pull up out to the three point, um, you know, guard, uh, guys on the other team are going to start respecting him more. And, uh, you know, they might close out to him a little harder. He can drive, dish it off to someone else. Uh, like I say, he can score. It opens up a lot for everybody. When you're having to kind of go through dummy offense and stuff like that in practice, do you think that has any impact on game day performance? You kind of have to ratchet back down a little bit? Not at all. Um, when it comes down to it, you just have to be ready to play. That's all it is. Uh, we've talked about, you know, being intense now. And leveling up the intensity of, uh, of our play um, since last year. So, uh, I mean, yeah, we have bodies that you know have went down, but at the same time, you just got to be ready to play basketball. How's Nate look? I understand he's had some <laughs> work done. <laughs> when, <laughs> when it first happened, our like first reaction on the bench was, "Oh man, I think we lost a tooth." And if Nate loses a tooth, he, he's gonna. Feel pretty bad about himself. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I mean, luckily it was just his lip. Um, it's it's kind of funny now because uh, you know he tries to talk and when he's uh, like sipping water or juice or something, he can't like drink the way he normally does. He has to tilt his head all the way back. And uh, we've been advised not to make him laugh, which I'm personally <laughs> loving. <laughs> so uh, I mean, it's a little different, but uh, he'll be alright. So it sounds like he has a, might have a hard time communicating. Uh, I mean, not not now. Yesterday was a little tough for him, um, but I mean, today I saw him a little bit and we talked for a second, so he's doing all right. He's doing a lot better. That it? So what's the real story behind Jerry? Who does Jerry belong to? Oh, yeah, Jerry's my friend. That's, yeah. He's mine. Yeah. There's no real story behind him. He just popped up one day. Uh, we became friends. We ended off instantly. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing weird about Let's let the man have a stuffed no. animal on you. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with the man having a stuffed animal? You don't have, have a stuffed animal? I have a lot. Huh? I do have a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you do? Okay. Yeah. You should understand. <laughs> well, yeah. Not as big as that guy, though. Uh, I mean, the bigger the better, right? You, know, yeah. you need a friend? Sure. Is that a positive or a negative with the women? I don't know. <laughs> um, we haven't, I haven't really taken them out yet in public. Uh, so. well, that would be an extra. I know. I know. <clears throat> I, you know, we still have chest issues and take, you know, I'm taking it slow. When did you get them? When did I get them? Yeah. Uh, Jared, you came around. 
say when you came around <laughs> last week. Yeah. How did you, how did how did you come across Jerry? Um, actually, a teammate brought him in, and uh, he wasn't showing him much love. He kind of stuffed him in the locker, so I took Jerry under my wing. Which teammate was that? Desmond Hubert. Wow. Yeah, he's heartless. Wow. Yeah. How, did, how did Desmond get? I'm not sure. I didn't ask him questions. Did you uh, show Jerry up with, still hasn't told me. Where he's from right now. They just showed up with, with Jerry and stuffed him in the locker yeah. last week. Yeah, last and week, stuffed him in the locker. And you played with Jerry. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Was his name Jerry when he showed up, or did you get that? No, I gave Jerry a Jerry. Where does the name come from? <laughs> it's the first name that popped in my head, and I feel like that's a good name for him. He looks like a Jerry. Sure. Yeah. With a J or a G? G. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cheated on the game. You're probably too bad guy. You know. Anything else about the game? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, JP and Jerry.